Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about perpendicular lines. So what's going to happen is you're going to take notes with me for the first couple of pages, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so take a look at this purple line and this blue line. When they intersect, notice how they make a right angle, okay? That's a characteristic of perpendicular lines. So number one thing I want you to write down is that perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. So they intersect to form right angles. All right, again, they make that nice 90 degree angle when they intersect, okay? Now, a more important characteristic is that the slopes are the negative reciprocals of each other. So let's write that down first, then I'll explain it. So the slopes are the negative reciprocals of each other. All right, so let me show you an example, okay? The blue line has a slope of two, okay? And notice the reciprocal of two would be one half, right? But notice that this line goes in a different direction, so it'd be negative one half. So, again, let's say we had a slope of, say, four. Well, the other slope would have to be negative one-fourth. Or let's say, for example, we had a slope of, say, two-thirds, okay? That means the slope of the other line would have to be negative three halves. All right, if you notice, if you multiply the slopes, you'll always get negative one, all right? So if I did four times negative fourth, uh, you get one. If I did two thirds times negative three halves, you'd also get negative one, all right? So knowing that, let's turn the page. And it says directions. It says write a function perpendicular to each equation function below, all right? So here I know I have a slope that's really five over one, right? So the reciprocal of five over one is one fifth. So my equation is gonna be y equals one fifth. Remember, it has to be a negative one fifth, right? So it's gonna be negative one fifth x. And then you could use any y intercept value you want. So I'm gonna say plus say two, okay? Well, let's do one more example. I could say y equals negative one fifth x, and then say minus one, all right? Again, the slope is what makes it perpendicular to the first equation, all right? Now this one over here, we have negative one fourth x plus y equals seven. So I need to first put it in slope intercept form. So I'm gonna add one fourth x to both sides. So now we have y equals one fourth x plus seven. All right, now again, the reciprocal of one fourth is four. So, but it's gonna be negative four to make it perpendicular. So it's gonna be y equals negative four x Again, plus any number I choose, say, say two for the y-intercept, all right? And let's do one more. Let's say y equals negative four x, and say minus you know, 10, okay? So the big thing to remember from this lesson is that the product of the slopes always equals negative one, okay? And it's gonna be the negative reciprocal um, of the slope. All right, so why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problems. So when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. So what you had to do for this activity is which of the following functions are perpendicular? So again, we're looking for the slopes to have a, a product of negative one. And for this one, um, I he here I have an, a slope of negative four, right? And I know the reciprocal of negative four is negative one fourth, but then it has to be the positive version of it, right? Because we want to have a product of negative one. So it's going to be this function right here but also this function right here as well. But this one could also be perpendicular with this one over here as well. So we have negative four X minus nine could be perpendicular with one fourth X plus five, but it could also be perpendicular with uh, one fourth X minus two. All right, how'd you do?